Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex or NuzNuz here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about how you can prepare early for the release of Zamorak, Elder God Wars Final Boss that's coming later this summer. Now, there are obvious things you can do to prepare, like getting overloads, getting a good summoning familiar, but that's not what I'm gonna focus on in today's video, because those things are mostly common sense that I'd just be repeating over and over, and I do not wanna do that. So in this video, we're gonna talk about some very specific things that could help you once the new Elite Dungeon and boss are released, and stuff you can do right now to prepare. Also, over 70% of you aren't subscribed, so if you enjoy videos like this, a subscription would be amazing. As always, leave a like to help your boy out, and let's get into these tips. So we know Zamrock will be the final Elder God Wars boss at the end of a new Elite Dungeon. So thinking about this, there's one key reward that you can get right now that can help you a ton during this, and that's completing the Twilight of the Gods quest that just was released. Now, this quest requires the Extinction quest and Broken Home quest, and also 80 Divination and 60 Thieving. You also need the Eyes in Their Stars Archaeology Mystery, and this quest is available right now for you to do, and I'll link a good guide below in the description on how to complete it. Now the reason you'd want to complete this quest is actually it gives you a reward of 10% damage reduction for Zamrock's Elite Dungeon, which is absolutely huge. It says it works in the Elite Dungeon and from the boss, so this is similar to the Curse of the Blackstone quest, which gives you damage reduction from the other Elite Dungeons, so I guess they're doing this for Zamrock too, so that's really really good. So if you don't do this quest, you're kind of handicapping yourself a lot. Uh, for the new boss, so make sure that you get this one done as soon as possible to be ready for release. Now something else that you can do is farm Chaos Die reroll tokens. Now these tokens are actually received from the same quest, so you'll get five as a reward when you complete this quest, so you might as well do it because you're knocking out two things, and you can actually use them to reroll loot for the new Elite Dungeon. Now of course you do receive five for the quest, but something else you could do is you can also receive more by killing Elder God Wars bosses, so if you feel like you want to prepare a little bit more given this time before the release, again, I don't think we know an exact date, but it's coming this summer, and you can go and farm your favorite Elder God Wars bosses like the Arch Glacier, Karapek, and build up a bunch of these reroll tokens. Now, these tokens aren't given in the chest of the Elder God Wars bosses, so you won't receive these in your chest, like for the Arch Glacier. You'll basically get them in your inventory or sent to your bank, similar to how it is when you gain a Treasure Hunter key while bossing. Now another solid way you can possibly prepare that's more speculation on my part but it will help you either way for Elder God Wars is getting your Shadow Pontifex ring fully upgraded. Now the Shadow Pontifex ring has been used a ton throughout Elder God Wars and it's charged with anima from each of the various Elder God Wars bosses. In turn it'll give you buffs such as for Karapek you won't be able to be stunned, uh, stat drains being reduced at Krosis, the Zuck Geyser's damage is now reduced and then you also have buff protection prayers at Arch Glacier. Now I don't know for sure, but I don't think it's far-fetched to think that the ring could continue to give you some sort of use in the new Elite Dungeon or against Zamrak, uh, although this isn't confirmed as far as I could find. Uh, but for me personally, just getting the ring completely upgraded and ready to go, so if there is a new anima that comes out uh, when this Elite Dungeon and Zamrak come out, I can add this to my ring. If there's new abilities or buffs that the ring will give when this comes out, I can easily, you know, have the ring all the way done up to that point, and it could be a very good thing to get going. Speaking of getting going, another thing you can do to prepare is making sure you have a very good amount of movement abilities available. This means things like Bladed Dive with Dual Wield Melee Switch, or Double Surge, or Double Escape, or even getting the Mobile Perk on your armor. These are all great because this is an Elite Dungeon and they're usually large large wide open areas that you want to navigate through as fast as possible to get yourself to the bosses, which of course these movement abilities will really help you do that and get through these elite dungeons super fast. But not only that, it can also be extremely, extremely useful when learning a new boss. So boss fights on release are a little difficult because kind of nobody knows what they're doing. It's much easier to do a boss after it's been released for a few weeks when there are guides or, you know, intros to the mechanics and stuff like that, but a lot of boss fights have mechanics that make it so you need to move to a certain area or even get to the exact spot in an arena very fast, which is where something like Bladed Dive really comes in handy.
handy. Things like avoiding the Arch Glacier's beams or getting to the right pad in Solok. When Jagex releases new bosses, they love to add mechanics like this, so having all these movement abilities will really prepare you well for whatever is to come. Now something else that I think it's overlooked for when new big PVM updates come out, you know, to prepare for them rather than just all the stuff you can get in game, something you can actually do to make your experience more fun is actually to join a clan. Now it might sound weird, but hear me out. Joining a clan when a big update comes around, if you're not already in a clan, is really really nice because you have other people that can potentially talk to you about the update, about their strategy, about you know what they're trying, the drops they're getting. You can potentially find teammates to go and basically you know fight the boss with, do the elite dungeon with, if it is able to be done with other people. So that is always a plus. And I just find updates more fun, like way more fun when I have like a group of people, whether it be a clan, a small group of friends that I can try the update with, talk about the update with. It just, that's one of the best feelings in RuneScape when everyone's on, everyone's playing a new update and you have a bunch of people that you can talk to about it and just have a good time. So if you haven't joined a clan, there's a lot of different clans out there. Um, they're not all, you know, having huge requirements like you need to have super amazing PVM skills to get into. There's a lot of chill and laid back clans. So I'll leave a link in the description to the clans forum and of course feel free to like browse through and try to find a clan that fits you but a lot of people think getting into a clan you need to have you know max stats great gear you have to be great at pvm but it's kind of the opposite there's very small clans that you know you have to have those requirements but a lot of clans most clans are pretty chill and laid back so if you haven't before i definitely recommend joining a clan for this update or at least finding a group of friends to play with now the last thing i want to talk about that could be potentially useful when Zamrock and the Elite Dungeon come out is the Demon Slayer ability. Now the Demon Slayer ability is gotten from a Demon Slayer ability codex which you can either buy which right now it says it's like 43 mil GE price but it's probably a bit more. I think it might cost around 100 mil or so to make in components so that's about the price of it. Uh, you make it with two onyxes, 60 silent components, and 100 blackstone hearts. Now what this does is it makes it so that when you use this ability all damage against demons is increased by 15% for 10.2 seconds so basically this is exactly how the dragon slayer sigil works you know you can use that for elite dungeon 2 and go in and use that and get the buff on the blackstone dragon boss and since many of the mobs are dragons you can get the buffs there and the thought with this is I'm not sure if Zamrock is going to be uh shown as a demon or considered a demon as a boss but it's likely there will be other demon type bosses in the dungeon and they're almost definitely are going to be mobs that are demons in this elite dungeon just judging by the theme uh, the history behind zamrock so this is a very good thing to get uh, to potentially make your time much much smoother so yeah i hope this could maybe help you guys out get that hype going get you prepared for zamrock release i'm super excited they said this is going to be a super hard boss so i'm going to die a lot i know that but i'm very excited for it and definitely will be making a ton of content around that so yeah thank you guys for watching thank you all for all the support make sure to leave a like if you can and yeah i'll see you all in the next video